Ryan Johnson is spilling the beans on the real history of Ray's parents. Another day, another Ryan Johnson Last Jedi interview. The Episode 8 director is making the rounds again, revealing all sorts of Last Jedi secrets, which means it's time for another one of our classic Rye Guys Star Wars interview roundups. <laughs> In a two-hour podcast interview with Empire Online, Johnson broke down pretty much every concern fans had, from Leia's Force powers to the missing Knights of Ren. And among all of that, the notorious RJ also revealed the real history of why Ray's parents were brushed off as filthy junk traders looking for their next buzz. What's become clear since The Last Jedi came out is that when Kathleen Kennedy has faith in the person in the director's chair, they have a lot of room to do what they want, even if it majorly subverts Star Wars expectations. We see this in how Johnson brushed off Snoke's backstory and how he handled Rey's parents, both of which seemed like supremely important details for the sequel trilogy, but those details ended up not being important at all. In the podcast, RJ's reasons for skipping over them seem legit. I went through all of the possibilities of who her parents could be, he said. I made a list with the upsides and downsides. Eventually, he decided to make Ray's parents nobodies because he was a big fan of breaking out from the notion that the Force is this genetic thing that you have to be tied to somebody to have. This also falls in line with what we already know about Jedi law, that they were never allowed to marry or fall in love, and that most of the Jedi we saw previously in the saga were random people with Force abilities who the Jedi recruited. In the end, Ray's parents didn't serve the story he wanted to tell, so he went for the more compelling, juicy stuff. Johnson said he wanted Rey to find strength in her own identity rather than Rey having a connection to latch onto like Luke or even Kylo Ren. Explaining the reveal was going to challenge her, Kylo is going to use this to try and undercut your confidence so you'll feel you have to lean on him for your identity. You're going to have to make the choice to find your own identity in this story. And really, this comes down to Kathleen Kennedy's specific approach to taking the Star Wars franchise into the future. Where the Marvel Cinematic Universe seems to hire its directors to get from point A to B story-wise, setting up key plot points for the overall universe, while giving the Helmers room to bring their style and tone to their flicks, it seems that Lucasfilm and Kathleen Kennedy have the opposite approach, telling their directors to stay in the Star Wars sandbox but take the story and characters wherever they want, which explains why, even though J.J. set up the sequel mysteries in The Force Awakens that we thought would be paid off in The Last Jedi, Snoke's history, Rey's parentage, R.J. wasn't obligated to simply check off those boxes. In fact, he just erased them from the map. Speaking of Ray's parents, Johnson did say in an interview with Huffington Post last December that Ray's parentage is still open. So while we loved, loved, loved the reveal that Ray's parents weren't anybody special, I didn't. It's still very possible that J.J. Abrams could retcon some of the events of The Last Jedi. Remember, Daisy Ridley hinted in an interview back in 2016 that she knew the identity of Ray's parents, and since she most likely got that information from writer-director Abrams, and with him coming back for Episode 9, J.J. could go back to his original plans. While we're not expecting an Episode 9 opening crawl that explains that Snoke is still alive, Ray's parents were actually Skywalkers, and Kylo Ren is really excited about his cool new mask. Anything is possible. But what do you think? Are you happy that Ray's parents aren't anybody special? Do you think JJ is going to retcon any of Ryan Johnson's decisions in episode 9? And where do you think the Knights of Ren have been for the past two movies? Our guess is that they were hanging out at Dexter Jetster's diner this whole time. Let's discuss. Be sure to like and subscribe, and guess what? Kyle Hill is checking out Wolverine's Sweet Sweet Pecs to figure out if Logan would be the best bodybuilder of all time. Check out the latest episode of Because Science right now.